Nearly 1 billion goats are raised in more than 100 countries around the world on thousands of small farms. Each place will have different climate, affecting the care and milk production of goats. How do farmers raise goats so that they give a lot of milk? What is the most modern goat milking system in the world? Let's find out with Mouse Farm in this video. In today's world, the closed goat farming industry is becoming an important part of the stable supply of goat milk and goat products. According to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States, about 20% of goat farms in the world currently apply closed methods, and this number tends to increase due to consumer demand. Consumption is increasingly high. To maintain a healthy goat raising environment, farmers need to pay attention to factors such as temperature, humidity, light, wind and bedding. The ideal temperature for raising goats is between 15 to 25 degrees Celsius and humidity is between 50 to 70 percent. In high temperature areas, providing drinking water is important to avoid head strokes, while in lower temperature areas Careful covering is important to avoid frostbite. For nutrition, goats need to be provided with adequate food such as hay, cereals and nutritious seeds. Hay should be provided at least twice a day, while nutritious grains such as seeds, should be included in the diet once a day in the morning. The average adult goat consumes about 2 to 3 pounds of feed every day. However, this amount can fluctuate depending on the breed of goat, stage of growth and other factors. Baby goats will be fed formula after breastfeeding for about six to eight weeks. The time it takes a goat to mature depends on the breed, but usually dairy goats will mature after about 18 months. To ensure the best health and development for goats, they need to be outdoors for at least two hours a day. The best time is early morning or late afternoon, allowing them to enjoy the sunlight and exercise. Outdoor cereals should be provided in high places, depending on the goat breed, climate conditions, and specific production needs. Farmers need to adjust care measures to ensure goats grow healthily Goats begin to produce milk when they are six months old and continue to produce milk until their estrus cycle ends, usually about 21 days. During this time, the goat's milk production reaches its peak, increasing harvest efficiency. Normally, the milk harvesting process is done twice a day, in the morning and afternoon. At each milking, a goat can provide three to five liters of milk. Currently, the world's most modern goat milking lines are operating mainly in advanced countries, such as the US, the Netherlands, Germany, etc. These systems are designed with many outstanding advantages to increase productivity.
increase milking productivity, reduce production costs, and ensures goat milk quality. In particular, the rotating line is capable of milking up to 50 goats at the same time, optimizing production efficiency. The amount of milk harvested from each goat depends on many factors, such as goat breed, care, and nutrition. On average, each adult goat can provide about 250 to 300 liters of milk a year. On small farms, Milking systems are often designed with manual or semi-automatic milking machines, capable of milking 20 goats at the same time. The milking process involves bringing the goat into the milking barn, cleaning the udders, and then the milking machine automatically performs the milking process. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, total world milk production in 2022 will reach about 900 million tons, of which cow milk accounts for 80%, while goat milk accounts for 10% and sheep milk accounts for 10%. The price range from $1.5 to $2 per liter. The process of producing cheese from goat milk is a complex and sophisticated process, requiring careful care from milk hygiene to the cheese aging process. Goat cheese, with its higher fat content than cow's milk cheese, creates a distinctive, rich flavor. Below are details about the production process and some interesting facts surrounding the goat cheese industry. Filtering milk through a clother milk filter helps ensure cleanliness and safety for consumers' health. The goat milk is then heated and the enzyme Renet is added to coagulate the milk. This process creates a coagulant and whey milky water, where the whey will be separated from the coagulant. The coagulated portion is cut into small pieces to facilitate the release of the whey more easily. The cheese is then stewed for about 30 minutes to one hour so that all the whey can escape, making the cheese thicker and more delicious. Then the whey is removed from the cheese through a skimming or filtering process. After it's poured into molds to shape the product, the cheese is then salted to add flavor and preserve it. The cheese is then aged for about two to six weeks to develop its characteristic flavor. Finally, it'll be cut into small pieces for packaging and sale. The price of goat cheese depends on many factors, such as goat breed, production method, fat content, and flavor. On average, the cheese of the goat is much more expensive than the cow cheese. The Italian Pecorino Romano cheese is known as the most expensive goat cheese in the world. It is produced from goat milk that grazes the mountains of Italy, giving it a rich, delicious flavor and high fat content.
Its price ranges from $200 to $300 per kilogram. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the annual world consumption of goat cheese is about 2 million tons. The countries consuming the most includes Italy, France, Spain, the United States, and Greece. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.